In this video, I'm going to show you one of the techniques I use to enter high probability stock and option trades. And the technique we're going to use involves candlesticks as well as demand areas. So here you see I've drawn a couple rectangles in Lazard, ticker symbol LAZ. And notice here in the rectangle, these are areas where LAZ tends to find support, where buyers tend to come in to buy the stock up. So if we were looking to make a new option trade, as it approaches the areas in this box, those would be prime opportunities to sell some new cash secure put options. And on the other side, we see in the upper part of this trading channel that when it reaches the area around $36 or $37 per share, sellers tend to come in and sell the stock off. So we know that those are ideally not the areas where we'd like to enter new cash secure put options. Now I want to talk you through an actual trade we did in LAZ to show you how this worked out for us. So let's focus in on this section here in November and December of 2022. Now the actual trade that we did can be seen here in our patron alert. On December 28th, we sold to open the LAZ January 20th, $33 cash secure put options and actually pocket of 50 cents per share. So let's see why I felt comfortable entering this new cash secure put option on December 28th. Now we're back on our charts here. We said December 28th was right in here. So notice that it was right around this area that had previously been serving as support for it. Now I typically don't like to do boxes. I typically like to do support and resistance lines. So if we take our box out, and keep our support line here, we see that Lazarus had gone up in price from around $33 per share up to $40 per share. Now it was retracing and was approaching this area that had previously served as support for it here in early November and again back here in early December. So we saw that it was approaching this area again, so we're more than comfortable selling a new cash secure put option in Lazard. So as you can see here on December 28th, Lazard was trading for around $35 per share. To give ourselves a little room to be wrong, we decided to go ahead and sell the $32 cash secure put options, which will be just below the area that has served as support for it back in December. Well, how did this trade turn out? We well, see what happened with the chart. Lazard advanced nicely over the next month until it topped out towards the end of January, around $41 per share. So we entered this trade on December 28th. And we sold the January 20th cash secure put option, which expired right in here. So you can see, although Lazard did decline two days after we entered the position, from that point on, the stock went our way. We ended up just letting this position expire worthless. So we got 100% profit on this position. Let's now look at another example of how supply and demand areas can lead to some high probability trades. Now I've switched the chart over to Broadcom, ticker symbol AVGO. On January 10th, Broadcom had come down to this area that had previously served as support for it, around 550 the 540 area represented here by the white box. This is an area that buyers tend to buy the stock up as you can see here. They did it on December 20th, again on December 28th, and even on January 5th. So fast forward to January 10th, the day we entered our trade, and we found Broadcom back down in this area that buyers had shown interest before. So I felt comfortable selling a cash secure put option in Broadcom. So here you see the live alert I sent out to my patrons on January 10th when we entered this trade. Notice that we sold to open the AVGO February 17th $520 cash secure put option. We bought for protection the pretty far out of the money 350 put option. And that was just to protect us in case of a black swan event. And all we were to walk away with $9.37 per share or $937 minus commission. Now looking here at the chart, you see that the cash secure put option we sold was right at this red 200 exponential moving average. And it was well below where the stock was currently trading at and well below the area where I expected buyers to come in and buy the stock back up. You see, I expected the stock to retrace into this zone and then for buyers to come in and aggressively buy the stock back up. Well, let's see what happened. Now we fast forward the chart to today. And as we see, Broadcom did exactly what we thought it was gonna do. Buyers came in and bought the stock back up all the way until February 7th when it topped out around $620 per share. And actually, as you see here, on February 13th, we bought to close that 520 cash secure put option. It only cost us 10 cents per share. So we basically pocketed the entire premium. But once again, we see how an area of previous support ended up being a really nice spot to sell some new cash secure put options. When you combine that with our ability as option sellers to sell a position well below where the market's at and still achieve an awesome return, well, you see why this is, in my opinion, one of the only trading strategies you'd ever need. 
when you combine selling cash secure put options with areas of support where buyers will most likely come in to buy the stock back up, it can make for some high probability trades and the ability to continually put cash into your pocket every single month. Let's look at one more example here of one of our recent trades that show the power of selling put option when stocks decline to an area that previously served as support for it. Here we see the daily chart of Walgreens. And this is the general area where we're selling multiple cash secure put options. Now, the reason why I picked this area is as you can see here, the $34, $35 area served as support for it multiple times over the previous months. It did it back here in September. It also did it right here in November. And then we see that Walgreens had once again declined to this area that had previously served as support for it. Now one technique I like to use in addition to using areas of demand is to build my position slowly just in case things don't turn out the way we planned. Here you see that we began to sell cash secure put options on January 6th. There we sold one contract of the Walgreens February 17th $35 cash secure put options and actually we're paid 88 cents per share. So looking at our chart here, let me see the candlestick that corresponds to January 6th. Walgreens had come down to this area that had served as support for it and actually had a nice long candle where sellers sold the stock, then buyers came back in and bought it up. So when we saw the nice green up day on the 6th, we decided to go ahead and begin to slowly build a position. So we sold one cash secure put option on the 6th, on this day here, as it was coming off of previous support. About a week and a half later, on January 17th, notice that we sold additional $35 cash secure put options, and received 71 cents per share. And the reason why we did that is because Walgreens did advance after we sold that initial put. It came back down and retraced to an area that again had previously served as support for around the $35 area. So on January 17th, as it was declining, I took advantage of this opportunity to sell another $35 cash secure put option. Fast forward another week, and as you see here on January 24th, we again added to our February 17th $35 cash secure put option, or paid 73 cents per share. Notice that we did that on a day that again, Walgreens had declined, rebounded, declined again, it was near this area that had previously served as support for around $35 per share. You see that we added to this position again on the 25th when Walgreens was around the $36 area. And again on January 30th, we sold two more contracts of the Walgreens February 17th $35 cash year put options for 39 cents per share. Notice we did this on January 30th. And here we see again, we did this on a red down day after Walgreens had advanced and it was declining again. Well, how did all these cash secure put options turn out? Remember, we were selling the $35 strike price, which is represented by this white line here. So as you can see, Walgreens repeatedly came down to this area that had previously served as support for it, and areas where buyers were excited to buy it, and every time it did, we'd sell cash secure put options against it. It ended up trading sideways over the entire period that we sold these cash secure put options. So this past Friday on February 17th, all the $35 strike price put options that we had sold expired worthless. Why does this strategy work? Why does selling put options when a stock is declining and approaching an area of support work? Well, the simple concept is that these areas are where buyers begin to get interested and more specifically where large institutional buyers begin to get interested. By aligning our cash secure put option positions with an area that big buyers have repeatedly shown that they will buy the stock if it reaches that area, well, it drastically improves our odds of winning our option trades. So basically what we're doing is we're following big or smart money in their positions. We're looking at what areas they get excited to buy at and then we're selling our put options just below or right at those areas of support or right at those areas where they demand the stock at. As you see with Walgreens, Sometimes if it's an area that I'm a little uncertain about, like I was at Walgreens with the big decline, then I'll actually build those positions slowly just to make sure the stock doesn't continue to decline. For example, there was the possibility that Walgreens could continue to decline to the area that had served as support for all the way down around $31 per share. And that's one reason why I built this position slowly because I wanted to see if Walgreens would indeed find support around this $35 area, or if it was going to continue to show weakness and decline all the way down to the $31 area. In the end, as you saw, we add to this position slowly to make sure it was going to work out for us, and it actually worked out perfect. If you'd like to get an alert as soon as we do trades, similar to the ones I showed in this video, check out the benefits of becoming a patron at the link in the description below. And if you want to learn how to trade options like we do for consistent monthly cash flow, check out my monthly option trading course, and the link can be found down in the description and comment section below. If you'd like to see how much we make on a monthly basis by selling options using strategies similar to the ones I showed in this video, check out my option trading monthly cash flow video series. I'll put that link on the top right corner of your screen and I'll also leave it in the description below. Until next time, happy investing and we'll see you again soon.